What's going on guys, it's Kuday here, and today we're going to be playing with Onslaught Fujin. This is some early gameplay. At the moment, he is not available. You can only get him in May, either from a paid pack, the crypt, or waiting to the next update. Because the next update, you'll be able to get him for free in quest mode or in soul packs with a random gold chance. But every single time the new update comes out, the newest gold is not in the random gold reward pools. Before we play with Fujin, let's have a good look at my man. How's my man doing? Okay, okay, looking at his car design, I think it's all right, I think it's all right. They could have done just a little bit better, just a little bit. And he's the first ever gold in the entirety of MK Mobile to have a background other than the ascended characters. The ascended characters have a background, right? They have a unique one. But yeah, Fujin is the first ever character with his own special background. Huh. Are they going to be doing this for every new team in MK Mobile or only Onslaught? Who knows? Looks like it's the Onslaught background, actually. That's the really cool part about it, is that's the terrain in the background of Onslaught. Let's go see what his card design looks like. It's, it looks a little, little different from the card design, I'm not going to lie. The, the, the face pops out to me. Doesn't look the same. But here it is. All right, all right. Hair looks less like Play-Doh than I thought it would. I can see that six pack, but I'm I'm not seeing the V-line. It we don't we're not seeing the V-line and I'm very disappointed that we can't see that V-line. <laughs> He's hiding it. He's hiding it. Why are you hiding it? Let's go look at his passive. It is called Air Wisdom. After 10 successful basic attack combo hits, Fujin can choose to gain a tornado ambush buff or an instant random bonus. If basic combo attack is blocked, it counts as 0.5 hits for air wisdom. Okay, so you can fill it up in double the time. You have to do 20 hits, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. Tornado Ambush is active for 6 seconds. Reduces the active opponent's attack by 10%, so you, they'll be doing less damage with basic attacks. And 6% for bosses, of course. A little boss nerf as always, and increases Fujin's attack by the same percentage for the rest of the fight. Okay, so we gain attack, they lose attack. If a new opponent tags in while Tornado Ambush is active, their attack will be reduced. So what I like about this passive compared to other passives in MK Mobile is that if another opponent tags in, it's not just going to reset. Maximum Fujin's attack boost and maximum attack reduction is, I think, less than 50% or exactly 50%. There's like a dash. Not entirely sure what they mean by that. On tag out, Fujin loses 5% of the increased attack amount for 5 seconds. So we can do a little bit of damage with our other characters, but not as much. Now, where's the... Oh yeah, here it is. Random bonuses, instant damage, regain health instantly. Oh, they they made their own bonuses. Drain one bar of power instantly, gain one bar of power instantly. Interesting. So this is this is the synergy that I was trying to look at. After Elder God teammates combo enters, Onslaught Fusion has a 30% chance to assist with a crossbow and shoot at the opponent while tagged out, dealing damage. Kind of like Nightwolf throwing his axe. We're going to see how that, that plays out. And the Onslaught... Also, teammates have a 50% chance to resist power drain. Obviously, that that has absolutely zero effect since uh, we have no other Onslaught characters at the moment. But I assume the best team to put him on is an Elder God team. So that's exactly what I did. Why not give him some good teammates in the meantime? This battle looks stupid. What the frick is this team? Thanos, out of all people to be called... Thanos, this is what, you, what you're working with? Thanos would be sorely disappointed to see this. Okay, we're starting off with Fujin here. See how his combo attacks actually play out. Oh, okay. All right, I wasn't tapping fast enough right after that. I thought there was going to be more time for me. It feels weird for that combo to not end with a, um, you know, passive from MK11 Fujin. Because it's so similar. I don't know how to feel about that. It's going to throw me off. Okay, can we keep chaining right afterwards? Yeah, it seems like we're chaining pretty well. Let's start by using SP1. We know it's crossbow. It's no different than the normal Fujin. Attack, yep, cool. All right. Has SP2 ever been used? I don't remember if they showed SP2 off. Well, all right. Let's try and see what SP2 looks like. Oh my God. Okay. Oh 
Okay. It's two. Well, damn. That is one hell of a cool SP2, if I've ever seen one. Not gonna lie. I am a huge fan of that. I don't know what our uh, increased attacks actually are right now. Oh my god, dude. Cassie, you've got to stop. Ser seriously? Okay, you're dead. Snare's running out. Oh, there's the crossbow, but we just got x-rayed on, and that's gonna hurt big time. It's no biggie. We're not playing for real, for real. We're just trying to have fun here. <laughs> Let's get brutality with Injustice 2 Raiden, right? Oh my goodness. Seriously? Wait, that didn't kill him? That didn't kill him? Oh, well, we're gonna make sure he died. Dude, does everyone have Bone Shield and Revenant and Revenant gear on? Seriously? Alright, what's use as passive? What what are we gonna do here? Attack steal? Or drain one bar of power instantly? Um, he doesn't even have a special attack, so we're gonna do an attack steal. Okay, that's what it looks like. Ooh, there's just a cloud of air. Or wind. Air? What, that's not air, you don't breathe that. Let's do SP2 again. I just wanna, I wanna do it again. Oh, it changes. This is so much fun. Wind never wavers. Okay, that might be the coolest victory stance I have ever seen in MK Mobile. That was cool. <laughs> Does he have a unique third one? Let's go find out. His third one is unfortunately not unique. This is a team I'm gonna enjoy going up against. MK11 Scorpion, MK11 Jade, and Strike Force Scorpion. Let's see how this rolls. Oh, there is a charge going up right there at the bottom of the screen, proving that we have the ability to either gain instant health or attack the- Oh, wait, this is the random bonus, my bad. We get to pick between the random bonus and the confirmed one. So we're gonna start with an attack steal and actually use it this time around. You have to wait for the effect to run out before you can start doing it again. Let's go use the random bonus and see if it's any different. Drain one bar instantly. Oh, okay, yeah, there's no, there's no clouds this time around. No clouds, no wind, no wind in sight. Let's just take care of Jade. Let's take care of her. She needs to go. <laughs> she needs to go. Damn. So we have 10, 10 buffs right now. We're going to tag out and it should go down gradually. That's what it says. Like every five seconds you lose 5%. But as long as we can... Take advantage of it before it runs out. Oh my god. All right, Raiden. Raiden, you did not have to go that hard. You did not. Okay, tag back in with Onslaught Fujin. Does he have a tag and attack? He does. That's right. All right. I'm, I'm liking this character. We're going to have to give a summary of my thoughts towards the end of the video here. But overall, it seems like he's very well put together. <laughs> just like stand on top of it is that that's exactly what fujin uh, the mk11 one does too he just stands on top of his sword he's that he has a knack he has a knack for it i'm trying to pinpoint a way that this character can work at low fusions in boss battles or in really difficult battles i can see the power drain taking one bar of power instantly being useful Let's go look at the other random bonuses again, just just to, just to check. Instant damage, instant health. I can see some of these being useful, but on the character himself, getting health back isn't the most useful. And you gain one bar one bar instantly. If you don't have the character max, you're not gonna be doing that much damage. So that's that's not a big help in my opinion. Not when you're trying to use this character at fusion level zero. When it comes to the spell. It can only really be useful if you have an outrageous effect on you, doing tons of damage. I can hardly see this being useful if you have Fujin's fusion level zero. Again, this character card doesn't seem to be the best at lower fusions, but it makes sense because a lot of characters in this game that are gold don't work at low fusions, which shouldn't be the case because... The point of MK Mobile is that it goes from bronze to diamond, and the gold characters are supposed to be the beginner-friendly ones that work at pretty much all fusions, but it seems like diamonds get better use at fusion level zero, even though they're the highest rarity and the hardest to unlock. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's, let's get this attack bonus going. Tag out. Oh my god. So Sindel is going to ruin this for me. I, I don't have the attack boost when she just mm, keeps freaking stunning me. So it should apply to Liu Kang. Or wait, it doesn't. I think it's because we Fujin's not tagged in. If Fujin was in, it would have worked. Right. Oh my god, I missed. Yeah, wow, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. <laughs> Oops. Right, let's kill her. Let's kill him. Almost at her. Liu Kang is not a her. Well, is he getting bar power? No, he's he's crippled. No reason to do that. He's crippled. Okay, let's tag out. And you see how much damage we do. Oh, we have 20 on him. Oh, that's going to be bad for him. She's got 10. It should be reducing by 5. Perfect. Keep in mind, we have special ending on, and we have not got a single brutal ending throughout this entirety. Keep in mind, we have special ending on, and we have not got a single brutal ending throughout this entire video now. <laughs> not fair. Not fair. I kind of don't like that special attacks don't increase the bar. Okay, so we're going to do an attack steal. Oh my god. Oh my god, please. Let me tag out. Oh my god, that's some serious damage. But of course, we weren't blocking and Liu Kang took advantage of that. But can we get a brutal, brutal ending? No way, Jose. We never get a brutal ending. Oh my god. Jeez. Well, this isn't part of the attack steal. We're just doing a lot of damage. Well, let's, let's get a brutal ending. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Jeez, reptile. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, Fujin. Adding salt to the wound. You know what? Let him do his damage. Well, oh, he brutalitied me. How fair is that? How fair is that? You know what, Fujin? Take care of this guy. We're going to be playing a tower battle, classic tower battle 168 with Onslaught Fujin and the Sedenian Blood Team and pray that we don't get kicked out because restart required keeps popping up. Let's see how this actually works in a tower battle. We have to know. Is it effective or not? Okay. Attack steal. Tag out to M uh, Adenia Blood Rain. Why did I stutter so much? We have no... Attack boost. Future Kude here. The attack bonus only applies to Fujin. But the reduction, the only way it applies to an opponent who has just tagged in is if Fujin is currently tagged in and the, the cloud, the, the wind cloud is going on, which is part of his passive. So that's why some opponents who are tagging in were not having the attack reduction. I need to have Fujin stay. Stay there and keep the cloud wind going so that they could be, you know, lumped into it. I want to use Classic Jade now. Oh, okay. I'm blocking because I don't want to deal with you, buddy. Oh, sure. Whatever. You can block, but that's not going to save you. Classic Jade is so much faster than you could ever imagine. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Good freaking luck. And you know what? We're not going to let you tag out. Oh my god. So, oh, oh, okay. Never mind. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I did not want to tag out to any Blood Rain. I didn't want to do that. Whatever. Oh, any Blood Rain doing so much damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Let's get rid of him, but maybe we could try to get... Yeah, no, let's just use this P2. Next game we're going to do our X-Ray. Let's go for our X-Ray this time. Let's go for our X-Ray. Oh, this is going to be hard with the fire. But if we just have the gain one bar power while we're sitting at... SP2, we should be fine. To, we should be fine and dandy. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to make our way up to SP2 and hope that the random buff is instant power. Luckily, Scorpion's a goner, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, oh my god, one bar power. Oh no, it's draining. My bad. Only draining. I was hoping we could get one bar power instantly. You know, if you use the random buff, you can keep repeating pretty quickly. Um, 
We don't need to dispel anything, so you might as well do, do an attack steal. Only problem with doing an attack steal is that now we're at the mercy of uh, how long this takes. Oh, we're going to kill him off instantly, so we might as well just let him do some damage so we can get x-ray. I'll see you guys back when we get x-ray. Here we go. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Oh, <laughs> he's going to keep trying a little longer. <laughs> he's immortal. He's immortal. What do we do with this guy? What do we do with him? I don't know. He's just going to be a little bit of annoyance. I guess let's tag him with Jade. <laughs> I just want to keep beating down on him. I know that he's not going to go go down anytime soon. Uh, you yeah, know what? Let's use this P2. I'm feeling it. Yes! Jade! Woo! Goodbye. So that's gonna be it for this video going over Onslaught Fujin. Do you think this was an okay review? We'll have more in-depth Fusion Zero gameplay where we just use them in a purely strategic way. But obviously we were just trying to have fun in this video. This isn't the harshest review where we pick apart every piece that's wrong and right with the character. Uh, I guess I'll give my summary now. Is this character good or not? Throughout the video, uh, I, I like his combos. I think his combos are easy to chain and they leave little room for the opponents to interrupt, but I'm not liking his passive as much as I thought I would. I don't think the bonuses are great. If you want to use this character in a strategic way on a team. Team wise, he just doesn't have the same value that MK1 Shang Tsung would have. Since his effect will run re regardless of whether um, you're tagged in or not. The attack bonus is nice. I'm going to be honest. The attack bonus and reduction is super useful. It could, it could be a, a saving grace for hard boss battles to reduce the amount of damage they can do. But Fujin's the only one who gets the buff and damage. So if he's at fusion level zero, you're not gonna notice much of an in much of an increase. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of Onslaught Fujin and tell me what kind of tests you want me to give him. What kind of things you want me to fight against with him. And I'll, I'll give it a shot. Anyways, guys, peace out.